First Medical Mistakes Ever Made Part 21 In the early 1900s, diphtheria was running rampant, killing tons of kids as well as adults with weakened immune systems. Diphtheria also comes with a whole host of symptoms, the worst being difficulty breathing as well as your heart beating irregularly. Horses, though, were actually very implemental in the creation of antitoxins and vaccines when it came to diphtheria. The way that they did this is they gave the horses a small bit of this toxin and allowed antibodies to build up. They would then progressively drain fluid from the horse in order to create the vaccines. Behind me is a photo of Jim the horse. He contributed a lot and saved a lot of people's lives. However, he would also indirectly take some children's lives when it was found out that he had tetanus. Tetanus has an even higher fatality rate than diphtheria. Medical professionals at the time were draining him and they administered several vaccines with this tainted blood. One small girl passed away when it was found out that she had taken a serum that was made from Jim's blood, and then 12 more kids after other samples weren't tested. 